when we name a species, a species of fish, for example, we might be interested in looking at specific characters like length of fins, number of fins, uh, it, how is their head shaped, how are their fins shaped, do they have spines, do they not have spines, um, you know, maybe something about their lifestyle too. Are they shy or are they predators? Over the 19 dives on this expedition, we've covered depths from 300 meters on the shallow end down to as much as near 6,000 meters in the deep end. Examining fish communities at different depths provides us with some insight into a healthy ecosystem. Within the Phoenix Islands protected area and within the Pacific Remote Islands, Marine National Monument, uh, we are really just at the beginning of understanding what the fish communities are within these environments and what species are being protected by these protected areas. The bottom line for the managers within both of those reserves is that they need to know what's there so they can better manage, conserve, and protect those biological resources and the habitats that these animals rely on. And so this exploration that we've been doing provides these managers with that essential information so they can do their job and better manage these species. In the deep sea, we really don't know too much about how fish live. There aren't a lot of direct observations. So one of the things that we're trying to understand about fishes is how they're distributed, get some ideas about their behavior, and that might allow us to better protect some of the species we have in deep water environments. These communities are still being discovered. Deep sea fishes are still being identified, we're still learning what's living in the deep sea. This type of exploration really helps open our eyes into how diverse um, these systems are.